whenever I buy a concealer, I always get two shades lighter than my natural skin tone kasi I usually use them under my eyes talaga. Kasi diba, dapat if you use a concealer under your eyes, dapat two shades lighter para highlighted yung under eyes mo. Hi guys! It's Faith again and welcome back to my channel. Namiss ko guys yung mag-film in front of the camera. It's been two weeks since I've filmed in front of the camera. Ever since I came back from Bali, hindi na talaga ako nakapag-film ng ganito, ng sit-down video, sit-down beauty video. Kasi, if you're a nurse applying sa DOH, makaka-relate kayo sa akin kung bakit ako naging sobrang busy the past two weeks. But anyway, I am back and today we have a comparison review. So, yung L'Oreal nag-release sila ng bagong concealer na ang sabi nila dupe daw ng Tarte Shape Tape. Sobrang tagal ko nang gustong itry yung Tarte Shape Tape. Pero kasi, wala siya sa Sephora Philippines and mahal din siya guys. So, hindi na ako nakabili nun. But yung L'Oreal nag-release sila nito ng L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear more than concealer and this one retails for 450 pesos nabili ko ito sa Lazada Philippines and then iko compare ko din itong cult favorite around the world among beauty gurus here locally and even international beauty gurus itong Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer so without further ado let's go ahead and start with the comparison review let's go I am done with my daytime skincare routine with my kilay. Nag-lip tint lang ako guys. And hindi ako magpa-foundation today. Para etong dalawa lang talaga yung itetest natin sa mukha natin today. Pero naglagay na ako ng primer guys. Except dito sa under eye area. Ayan, hindi ko yan nilagyan ng primer. So yung my primer lang is dito and the rest of my face. That's it. Let's start with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Talagang may more than guys kasi nakalagay dyan more than concealer. This one retails for 450 pesos. So this concealer claims to be full coverage and stays seamlessly blendable. Okay? And this is a full wear concealer with extra covering pigments that delivers three times more coverage with one super size dip. This one also claims to be all day transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. Wow, sobrang ganda ng claim. So ayun yung packaging guys, sobrang laki niya guys, sobrang taba niya. Yung do foot applicator niya naman is sobrang laki din. This is the biggest do foot applicator na nakita ko sa isang concealer. This one contains Tenamel. So, tenamel lang pala ito, pero sobrang laki niya na. And ito yung packaging niya. It's in, a, it's in a thick plastic packaging. And I really love the packaging. It's so simple. It's straight to the point. Tapos may pink, black, and silver dyan na naka-imprinta sa handle. Basta, I love the packaging. It's simple. It's straightforward. And yeah, I like it. Now naman is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is a cult favorite around the world. This is 51 pesos cheaper because this retails for 399 pesos. And this is a two-in-one concealer, a concealer and a treatment because this one is infused with goji berry and haloxyl that helps reduce the appearance of dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. Ano yung kanyang claim? Yun nga lang, this one comes in this thick plastic packaging as well and wala siyang dofu applicator, guys. May foam siya dyan na gamit na gamit ko na to, guys, sa And ito yung kanyang delivery system. You're going to twist it lang tapos apply na. Ganun lang siya, guys. So, I am going to apply the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer on my left side and the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer on my right side. By the way, for the L'Oreal one, my shade is 3. 06 Nude Beige while for the Instant Age Rewind is light. Tatlong shades ng available nito. This one, I think there's 10 shades available for this concealer. I'm gonna blend it with a wet sponge, guys. Kasi yun yung favorite way ko in applying concealer. Ooh, sobrang dami yan, ha? Ha, maybe blend ko lang. Konti lang ata yung kailangan mo dito. Kita nyo ba, guys? Sobrang kapal niya. Ang sabi niya with just one dip, so siguro talagang dapat isa lang yung nilagay ko dyan. Okay, ibiblend ko muna to kasi sobrang dami na yung nalagay ko. Ibiblend ko lang ito. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sobrang dami nang nalagay ko. Lalagay ko na lang din siya dito. <laughs> sobrang puti nito guys sa akin. Dapat talaga kasi magpa foundation ka muna. Oh my God guys. Yun lang yung konti lang yung nilagay ko guys. And parang naging foundation ko na to. Tignan nyo naman. Ayan siya guys. Talagang sobrang ganda ng coverage niya. 
and konting konti lang yung nilagay ko. My God. So that has covered my entire face, and as you can see, a little goes a long way. Konting konti lang yung nilagay ko, and it has covered half of my face. Wow. And sobrang ganda ng coverage, guys. As in, oh my God. Nasuka ko don first impression. It's very blendable, guys. Sa kahit andito lang yon, tapos it has reached hanggang dito sa edges ng aking left face. So that is really very, very blendable. Now naman, let's go to the Instant Age Rewind. Ito, you have to twist this. So ako, I twist like three times. Every time I use this, tapos apply na natin. Kapag bago to sa inyo, you have to twist like more than ten times, guys. <laughs> bago lumabas yung product. And eto, mas makokontrol mo yung ilalagay mo. Kasi eto, sanay na sanay na ako eh. So ayan. Ganyan ako maglagay na to. So let's blend it using this flat side. Kanina, eto na side. This one is the Anakai Black Beveled Sponge, by the way. So I'm gonna use the flat side naman. To blend this. Etong sa Maybelline, eto yung parang shade ko talaga. Ng concealer. Kasi... Whenever I buy a concealer, I always get two shades lighter than my natural skin tone. Kasi, I usually use them under my eyes talaga. Kasi diba, dapat if you use a concealer under your eyes, dapat two shades lighter para highlighted yung under eyes mo. So, ito si Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It's also very blendable, but you need more products dito. So, maglalagay lang ako dito and then dito. Para even naman siya. Kasi ito, it has covered my entire face. So, we need more products using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. 6ml lang ito, guys. Ayan na. That is my face. So, ayan na, guys. Tapos ko na siyang i-blend. Ito, konting-konti lang yung ginamit ko. Like, isang dip lang. Tapos parang na-spread ko lang siya dito na part. And it has spread evenly on the rest of my face. Dito sa right side. But this one, I have to apply separately dito. And here, for my entire face. And, ayan. As you can see, halatang-halata sa camera, guys. Kung which side covered pretty good, pretty well. So, obviously, mas maganda yung coverage ng L'Oreal Full Wear More Than Concealer on my right side compared to the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Ayan. This did not really claim to have really good coverage. Ito kasi yung claim to three times more coverage. Ito full coverage pero hindi niya sinabi na ilang times ganon. So maganda din naman yung coverage nito guys. This has been my favorite full coverage concealer for a long time. Pero this one, I think the claim na three times more coverage is really true. It has three times more coverage than the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Halata naman sa camera guys, di ba? So, yung gagamitin ko pang set is this one. Ito. Ito yung favorite powder ko lately pang set. This one is from the BYS Contour Trio. Kasi this doesn't have any coverage. This will just set our concealer. So, unahin ko itong sa L'Oreal na side. So, gagawin ko. Buong face ko na yung isaset ko nito, guys. So, very, very lightly lang. Para hindi lang mag-move yung concealer. And then, dito naman. So, ayun na guys, yung aking face with just the concealers and sinat ko na to very, very lightly. As you can see, it did not add any coverage. Pareho lang yung coverage kanina before I set my face with a powder and after I set my face with a powder. Walang kaibahan, talagang na-mattify niya lang, talagang na-set niya lang, ganun. So, mag-a-add lang ako ng blush para magkaroon naman kulay yung cheeks ko and then I will be back. Ito, test natin sila kung alin dito yung mas long wearing. I'm gonna wear this as long as I can. Dito lang kasi ako sa bahay, hindi ako aalis. So far, so good naman yung dalawang concealer. Especially si L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. So far, I'm really, 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 really impressed. Pero tingnan natin kung which side last longer, kung aling side yung talagang mas komportable sa skin ko. So far, si Instant Age Rewind Concealer, mas konti kasi yung coverage niya. So, medyo mas, mas magaan siya sa face ko. So, I'm gonna give you random check-ins. Maybe yung next check-in will be after lunch. Ganon, tingnan natin. And then, yeah. I'll see you later. Hi guys! I'm back. Pasensya na. Nakalimutan ko mag-check-in kaninang lunchtime, guys. But, it's already 4 in the afternoon. Tapos, I applied the concealer kaninang mga 10. So, let's see. So, it's been 6 hours, guys. And, pinagpawisan ako, guys. Kasi, 
Akala ko dito lang ako sa bahay pero pumunta kami ni Javi doon sa Maigo kasi may binili kami pagkain at saka nagpa-cut din siya ng hair, ganon. So anyway, this is my face. I-zoom ko lang kayo. Ayan yung aking mukha, guys. As you can see, wala namang pinagkaiba sa kanila. Um, medyo nag-tone down or nag... Ano mang tawag nun, guys? Um, nag-oxidize. Medyo nag-oxidize ng kaonte si L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Kasi as you can see, pantay na sila, guys. Kanina, mas maputi talaga ito si Infallible Full Wear. More than concealer than the Instant Age Rewind. Pero ngayon, pantay na sila. And looking at my face, guys, pareho lang yung coverage nila ngayon na it's been 6 hours na. Wala akong pinagkaibang nakikita coverage-wise. This claims to be transfer-proof and sweat-proof. Ganon. And, tingnan natin kung transfer-proof ba siya o hindi. I'm wearing a black t-shirt. Uy, wala talaga, guys. Sige, dito nga. Kasi mas marami kasi sa mata kanina, guys. Diba? So, doon natin i-concentrate. I'm pressing really hard. Uy, wala talaga, guys. So, yes, it is transfer-proof, sweat-proof. I would say, um, yes, it is. Kasi, one layer lang yung nalagay ko nito all over my half side of my right face. Ganun. And, andyan pa rin siya, guys. Intact pa rin. Medyo, the coverage kind of faded a little bit. Pero, okay pa lang siya, guys. Parang natural siya tingnan. Hindi sila nagkiki both sides. Hindi din siya nag-settle sa aking ilong. Dito besides my nose, sa laugh lines, wala naman. So far, pareho silang maganda, guys. Ito, mas nagustuhan ko lang talaga ito because of the packaging at saka my dog food applicator siya. And alam nyo, 10ml yung meron dito, guys. Like, isang ganyan lang. Pwede na siya para i-blend mo sa buong mata mo. Ganon siya. So, a little goes a long way. This will last you for a year kung konting-konti lang talaga yung kailangan mo. Okay na okay na siya guys. And mas marami siyang laman and mas gusto ko yung delivery system niya. Kasi nga naka-dog food applicator and then maganda din yung packaging. Si Instant Age Rewind naman, it's cheaper pero 6ml lang yung andito. Tapos, hindi pa siya kagandahan yung delivery system. Yung delivery system lang yung hindi ko nagustuhan dito kasi kasi dito over time magbi-build siya ng magbi-build siya ng bacteria diyan, 'di ba guys? Kasi wet siya, tsaka foam siya, hindi mo siya siguro pwede tong labhan, hindi ko alam. I haven't tried that. Palagi ko siyang ginagamit, guys eh. Kaya ganyan siya, it kind of look really gross. Pero yun lang yung hindi ko gusto dito. It's a con. Pero guys, for an everyday basis, I would recommend the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Kasi this is a 2-in-1 concealer. It's a concealer or a corrector. And at the same time, it's a treatment for your under eye circles. So, okay to guys for everyday use. Kasi maganda din naman ang coverage nito. Ito, pwede to siya guys for your special occasions. Kasi talagang Kung gusto nyo sobrang plakadong plakado yung base makeup nyo, eto siya, okay siya for special occasions. And I wouldn't recommend this one, guys, for everyday use. Kasi nga, it's really, really thick. Kasi nga, it has really, really great coverage to the point na feeling ko mabigat siya under my eyes. Ganun. It wouldn't be healthy under my eyes kasi feeling ko hindi makakahinga yung mata ko. Kasi usually tayo, naglalagay talaga tayo ng concealer under our eyes. Ganun, di ba? Um, ako, hindi gaano ako nag-spot conceal sa imperfections ko sa face kasi hinahayaan ko lang yung foundation to do that job. Minsan-minsan lang ako nagko-concealer on my face. Kaya yung mga concealer ko sa collections ko is always one to two shades lighter kasi ginagamit ko lang talaga sila under my eyes. Hindi sa aking mukha. Ganun. Maganda sila pareho, guys. Pero... For today, yung winner is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. Kasi this is 450 pesos and it has 10 ml. A little goes a long way. It's very, very blendable. It has really, 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 really great coverage. But this one, it is 51 pesos cheaper. Pero 6 ml lang yung meron dito. And the major con for this concealer is yung delivery system niya. It is not hygienic. So, eto, wala akong nakikitang mali dito, guys. Kasi everything is nice from the packaging to the delivery system with the product itself, yung performance ng concealer, maganda siya. So for today's video, I would go for the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer.
So that's it guys for our comparison review. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. God bless everyone.